let us let us try to let us try to understand the motion of a charged particle in combined electric and magnetic fields right so i have an electric field applied in 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 the in the direction of this is my x axis this is my y axis and this is my z axis and and i have my electric field oriented in this direction this is my electric field and my magnetic field is along this direction right this is my magnetic field correct now <coughs> now i shoot a i shoot a particle in the positive direction of x a positively charged particle in the positive direction of x so so somehow this is my this is is the direction in which my particle is being shot so it's that okay okay fine now this positively charged particle this positively charged particle will experience an electric force electrostatic force in the upward direction isn't it so so it will it will experience experience <coughs> And, and, and electrostatic force F E in this direction, which is equal to Q into E, right? Correct? <coughs> so, so this is your F E and this E. Since this is positive, we are <coughs> we have done a scalar multiplication by a positive number and, and it remains in the same direction, right? And <coughs> let's try to understand the direction of the magnetic force. So, so I have I have my 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 V in this direction. I have my V in that direction, right? And and B in in this direction, right? Towards towards the Z axis. And this is V, and this is this is B. V cross B. So, so you have to bring this to this through the smaller angle. This is the smaller angle. V cross B. Looking from up, it is clockwise movement. So, it moves down towards the negative Y axis direction. Do we see that? The, the, the force will be in the negative Y axis direction. So, so the force is like that. right so this particle this particle experiences a force that is in in this direction right so fb is this this is nothing but q v cross b okay and and since the the angle between this v and b is 90 degrees right this is along the x axis this is along the z axis they are mutually perpendicular so so the angle is 90 degrees so so magnitude wise okay so magnitude wise i'll, I'll remove the vector sign that becomes the magnitude that it, it becomes q into v into b and direction i've already shown so i i've not missed out on anything right I I I given the magnitude. I have also shown the direction, and and similarly here the the magnitude F E is 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 nothing but Q E. Okay, that is Q E. Fine. Now, now it may so happen. These forces, first of all, are in the opposite direction, right? They are in opposite direction. Now, I may adjust my E 
and b in such a manner that these forces become equal okay so when forces are equal when forces are equal i'll change this color the net force on the net force on the particle is zero right and when does that happen in that case qe is equal to qvp is it not and so so you get v as equal to e upon b right b upon b so somehow if you are able to to arrange your e and b in such a manner that it matches the velocity of the particle or you are planning to to do this so 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 if you if you want that certain particles to go undeflected you have a stream of particles at different velocities and you want to filter out the particles which have a particular speed then you you and you know that means you know this okay so 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 you arrange your e and b in such a manner that it equals their their, their ratio equals v those particles will experience absolutely no force no net force and they'll keep on moving straight ahead mm -hmm. now let us see what happens to the particles which have a velocity smaller than this right so so for particles with v less than the the v critical right so so i'll call this v critical right so so for for particles with velocity less than this for particles with velocity less than than vc what happens see i electrostatic force is not at all affected by the velocity correct so what is affected by the velocity only my only my mm -hmm. magnetic force right now if if v is less than that then what happens this vector somehow is smaller than this is it not this vector this vector since my say this is the length when when the velocity is vc then if i if i if i decrease v v comes less than vc then this vector becomes smaller than my right it it, it kind of drops like that is it not and what happens then then this force there is a net force in the upward direction correct so what happens the particle tends to move in the positive direction of y okay then then what happens if e becomes greater than if b and the particles and the particle moves in and the particle moves in the positive direction of in the positive direction of the x axis is uh, I, I'm, sorry. I'm sorry of the of the y axis yes straight straight what did i say no it it will move like that if if the the velocity is less it kind of move like that parabolic parabolic why why parabolic because you have you have an acceleration in this direction that is a, that is constant okay and, and so s is ut plus half ad square initially there was no velocity in this direction so so now it is now it is ut plus half ad square 
half a y, right? It will be u y t plus half a half a y t squared, which is equal to zero into t plus half a t squared. So s with the time, right? If you plot it with time, s y is actually half a t squared. And this component remains the same. X component, right? You understand? This component is still the same. So what happens? So so what I call here as S Y is nothing but Y. And what is my X? X is equal to V T. If you eliminate, if you eliminate T between them, right? So T is equal to T is equal to X by V. So Y is equal to half half a into x square upon v square, right? This is a parabola. That's how you normally derive the relationship when, when the particle is moving under certain force field, right? You have to you have to find find the things in terms of x, y and, and maybe if it was z then z and then you start eliminating the the variable. That that that's what that's why you have been taught the the parametric form of equations. This is a parametric form of equation and if you eliminate the parameter you get a relation between the x and y. Correct? So, so the particle moves in the positive direction of the x-axis so it will take the, that trajectory and, and what happens if, 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 if v is greater than vc then there is a net then then Obviously, if B is greater than I phi and the particle says if B is greater than V C, the critical, this, this, okay. right? Then, then F B becomes greater than F F E and the and the and the Particle moves and the particle moves in the negative direction of x axis. No, not x axis. I do not know why I am repetitively writing that. It is y axis in the negative direction of the y axis, right? So, so the particle will tend to move, move like this. It, it, it will move like that. So, do we see what happens for those particles which have velocities more? They, they'll, they'll kind of move like that, and, and those which have less, they'll, they'll move like that. So, and only these, they, they'll come like that. So, it's, it's like a filtering mechanism. It's, it acts like a C, right? And, and. That's why it is known as a velocity selector. This is a velocity selector. Right? It is called a velocity selector and, and, and you can filter out from a stream of particles the, the I can write the application as filtering out particles filtering out particles of a desired velocity so how do we know that? How do we know what? See that the particle will go towards up, upwards downwards. That's what I explained. No. If if v is greater than that, That's then true. then it's qvb. This becomes qv qvb where 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 this is greater than vc, right? Yeah. So so this force and this force does not change with velocity, hmm. right? Now this 
you have increased the velocity, so you have actually increased the, the magnetic force. So it goes downwards. So it's like to pull it downwards. If it is less than that, then, then it is this vector that, that had become uh, smaller. So there was a net, net force in the upward direction. So it will kind of e either go that, that way or that way. And, and if you have some collector out here, say here, then all of them will, will pass through this and, and you can collect these particles. Right? Get that?